Hey guys, we're gonna finish up on this old witch today. We're gonna uh, work on the shoes and the hand and just do small little details just to get her finished up. And, uh, but uh, she's gonna end up hopefully looking like this. I'm gonna probably put in some fingernails too. So yeah, I'm gonna get started and with that, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna put this one back up on the counter. And I went in here and I, I drew stuff where I need to work at, like right here on the shoe, on this side, it's this little notch. I go in and make me some stop cuts in there and uh, take that little wedge out right in there, like that right there. And uh, I see a place I didn't finish drawing is this heel. It's gonna come around like that. And while we're in here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a number 11 uh, gouge. It's about a three millimeter. And I'm gonna put in this so Well, first of all, I got to go in and uh, right in here is this little where the heel is right there. I've got to make this little cut. So you come in here, with a straight stop cut there and then one across here and then uh, one across here like that and it should pop out like it did right there and that just develops a little bit of shadow now I can go back in with this number 11 and go ahead and put this little shoe sole in. And yeah, I go over it with a number 11. And then I'll go back over it with a V tool, a quarter inch V tool. And work right around there where your line is, like that. Then I'll get the back of the heel. Yeah, that little that chip on me there. There we go. Can you see that, Peyton, what I'm doing? Yep. And I'm gonna turn it around and finish out right in here. You really don't need the, uh, the little hill like this uh, showing on the inside because it's on, the, it's in the back and, and it's just not a really necessary, but then I'm gonna go back over it. I'm gonna take this uh, quarter inch V and I'm gonna re uh, enhance my cut with this V, v tool. Now this is the last video and uh, of the, on this witch. Uh, I am uh, going to be gone in the, to the Renegade Woodcarver's Roundup here in a couple of weeks. And I'm gonna be there. So if, if you're over into Lebanon, Tennessee, drop by and see me. There's that right there. That's my shoe. And now while we're down in here, uh, I, I said I was going to do a little bit different grass. I, I did the grass like this on this one, opposed to uh, that like that. That's just a real straight look. And I, I, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you how I do that. I come in here and I just put little, all the little, little cuts like this. Just to um, not straight up and down cuts, but you work that all the way around. You might, you can go in and and uh, wet this wood, and it cuts a little bit better. 
I'll show you what I mean. Uh, I take a little spray bottle and uh, I'll spray right in here. Let that soak in a little bit. And it, uh, it just swells the grain and it, it really it makes it a lot easier to cut because when you're doing the cross grain work it's kind of difficult to come across there but when you swell that grain man it it really it to me if your tools are sharp it cuts like butter almost now you, you got to be careful and not to soak it too much because uh, when you do that, it'll start sp splitting on you. Uh, but it, it uh, you can do it a few times, especially in this cross grain areas. What well, we got on time right now, Peyton? I'm... Got about 12 minutes. Oh, okay. I can go ahead and finish this grass up. Like that right there. And then I've just got a little bit right in here. And you don't want these cuts uh, straight. You want to kind of put a little S shape in it. Just some curves in there. Can you see that okay, Peyton? Yep. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, like I said, I'll be gone for a couple of weeks, and uh, uh, when I come back, I'm, I'm going to start on another video. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet, but, uh, well, I'll think of something between now and then, and because I'm going to keep these YouTubes coming at you, and everybody that has subscribed to my channel, I appreciate you subscribing, and uh, uh, I'm going to keep them coming at you, and... Uh, I hope you enjoy them, because uh, I enjoy doing them. I like to do them. Uh, it keeps me carving. Okay, I've got the grass in there on that. Now, let's look for detail. Oh, look here. I see some little marks here I did on a, uh, the little where that material's pulled together. I'm going to go ahead and, and use my little V-tool to make me some little wrinkled areas right in there now let me uh, I got took out it split on me right in there so I'm just going to recess that a little bit now Right here, I'm going to work on the, where that hand is tucked in that pocket. Right here, like that. And it's not its not much. You just, uh, I started a little V cut right along there. And you just follow your line across here. Then you go in and make you a, a stop cut and cut back against that and kind of push that back down in there. That's about all we need on that, on this hand being tucked in. You don't really see a, a thumb or any anything like that. I will shave this down just a little bit. Now, while we're at it, I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna make, I put in right here a little, a little uh, gouge mark to kind of show some where that material is pulled together. And I'm gonna bring it around up there on that back part of the cape strap then we're going to continue on around and pull it right back up into there like that right there you can see that okay can't you pete yep all right now you look right in here i've done some wrinkles uh 
and some folds. I'm going to go around and get my number seven. Uh, this is a number seven gouge, uh, probably a 10 millimeter. But I go in and I put me some a little cut across here. And make me a a little canal like that and uh, I got a little high ridge up right there and then I do another cut right in here but uh, after the uh, renegade there in ten Lebanon Tennessee uh, I've got Oklahoma City that I'm going to be at. Uh, if it makes, uh, I got to call if, uh, a person in charge to find out if it's going to still be in, going on. But I'll be out for that also. But I'm still going to keep these videos coming at you. I've tried to do them, uh, you know, like a week at a time, but sometimes you just can't do it. It'll give you a little bit of time to catch up. Okay, I put the wrinkles in that. And I, I do this now because it just breaks up uh, that straight area. Okay, and uh, now I am going to put some deep creases in here uh, like I did right in here. I take a number 11, 3 millimeter, and go in here and make me a deep cut there. One like that, one right there like that. She's just about there. Uh, I think right in here I've got some marks with a tool, uh, and that's just kind of breaks up the straightness in here. I'll come in and uh, this way, and I'll make me a cut right in here. One right here. How much time we got, Peyton? We had about four minutes. Okay, four minutes. Put one right in here. And that just gives it a little folded look in there. Just a little bit more interest in your carving. And this is just a number seven. About a 10 millimeter. Got Put one on this side. Okay, now, uh, oh, I've got to put one right back here. And then I was gonna tell, I told everybody I was gonna do a fingernail and uh, some wrinkles on the, on the knuckles. Well, that's little folds right in there. So, let me turn around and get my little gouge here. Now, if you look, well, this is where I did the wrinkles. And I just take my tool and come across here and, and cut little divots in. But on these fingernails, I, I put some divots in there, but you just wanna go and kinda outline that with with your, uh, that's a one millimeter number 11. And you wanna put those fingernails in. One, just enough to get some shadow in there. I'll do one here. And then one across here. We're about done on time, Peyton. Yep, nope, got about three minutes. Three minutes? Okay. Yep. All right. Let me get this one now. I can go ahead and finish these up here. And this is just, this is some, some small work right in here, but you see the little nails. And of course, you want to go in there and kind of paint them red or I, I swear, I think I painted them red, but I'm gonna go over the coloring here. Okay, with that, that old witch, she's pretty much done. Uh, oh, I do want to show you a little bit how I did uh, some notches right in here. You go in and it just kind of makes this hat a little 
worn look. Do some in the back. And just put little notches in here like that. But with that right there, she's pretty much done. Uh, I did uh, say I was gonna put a broom in, but I just don't have one carved yet. But I did, uh, you wanna make it large enough to where, uh, like this number, quarter inch, gouge will fit in there just enough to make you a little uh, place to put your broom and I just didn't get it done but I'm going to put one in here now as far as the colors go I just do uh, 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 black for the cape and these dots are done with uh, uh, this is done with a brush and uh, then I did a, just a purple I call it the purple robe, but it's really a purple dress. Then a uh, burnt sienna uh, uh, belt, gold, uh, this is metallic gold uh, for the buckle. Uh, and then I put a little, uh, 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 a little bit of rouge around her eyes and right in here where I did her mouth. And then uh, of course uh, the, uh, the shoes are black. But you can uh, you can do whatever color you want. Of course, the grass the grass is green, and uh, I may on this one do red shoes. It's a uh, ruby red slippers for on, like on the Wizard of Oz. But other than that, guys, that's the witch, and uh, and it's close to Halloween. So uh, 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 next time we'll we'll think of something while we're gone and. Uh, I'll have a, a, another project ready for you. And uh, until next time, uh, we'll see you later. Happy carving to everyone. So we'll see you later. Bye.